Right, so we're looking at the side of the machine now, and you can see that I've removed some of the access panels, so we can actually have a very good look at the freshening system itself. Now, this being a straw walker machine, we have our APS Synflow Walker system, so our four drums. We can see where our main APS drum will be situated, our main 755 millimeter freshening drum, our 600 millimeter secondary separator, and then our rear beater is also located then for throwing the crop onto the straw walkers themselves. Also, you can see our accessibility by removing both either this panel or the rear secondary separator panel. That then gives us access to the concave section itself. So if I want, if I want, I can open my concave section up. I can then remove the two locking nuts and then slide the whole concave section out of the side of the machine, giving us up to 40% movability of the concave section itself. This is very handy in the cases where I might want to remove the concave section for the likes of cleaning at the end of the season, if I want to blow down the machine and get into the actual freshening system and make sure it's all clean. But I can also then use it if I want to remove the concave section and remove it for a different spaced concave section itself. So if I wanted to go to a wider concave section, maybe for the likes of special crops like beans or oilseed rape. On the side here as well, you can also see some adjustments. You can see the likes of our concave pivoting bar, so this bar is adjustable from inside the Cebus itself. It doesn't require any outside adjustment. And we might use this in the case if we need more intensive freshing in our freshing system. So example, if I've got some harder cutting crops, some different varieties that take a little bit more freshing, I can move that bar into position and that's going to give us greater aggressiveness on the actual rubbing or freshing system itself. Also, you can see the actuation for the concave flaps. So these concave flaps work the same way that the APS the awning plates work in front of the APS drum. They close up underneath the concave itself and this just helps us hold the material in there a little bit longer. So if we've got the likes of some green crop that we don't want falling onto our prep trays to give us a dirty sample, we can hold these flaps into position from the SEBA screen or additionally we can have an adjustment on the outside of the combine itself. So additionally we can also remove the concave segment itself. This is if we might want to change from a different concave segment uh, to a differently spaced segment for additional crops. Or additionally, we can also get to the side of the drum itself if we'd like to clean it down at the end of the day. To remove the segment, we remove the two locking nuts on either side. We then remove the segment itself by lifting it up and sliding it out of the side of the machine. We can also move our chaff spreader position into the maintenance position. This moves the chaff spreader backwards so that we have access into the back of the sieves if we so need it. So we're at the rear of the machine now, looking at the chopper system and the adjustments that we can make here. We can see one of these adjustments is this black handle on the back. We can move this handle out of position depending on the ratio of the speed that we need for our pulley for the chopper system itself. We'll now have an actual look inside the panel of the different speeds and how they're working. So here we can see the back of the chopper and the actual speeds itself. Again, I've just mentioned this black handle. This is adjusting our idler on the back of the machine itself. So if I need to lock this in and out of position, I have a little knocking nut at the top here, which I can then unlock and move in and out of position. As well, at the bottom, I have this black handle. This is then gonna bias the actual chopper speed itself. So if I need to run a slower chopper, depending on conditions, whether that be a different crop condition or actual field conditions, I can do that. And then I can also speed it up accordingly as well by moving the handle back into position. And you can see now I've removed the side panel or opened the side panel. This then gains me access to the chopper system as well. So if I want to blow down this area or need to take out any maintenance on this area, the best way to do this is removing the panel and accessing it from this way. So still looking at the back of the machine, we can see that we have an additional dial for adjusting the chopper position. Now this can be all done by standard via the Cebus inside the cab. But if we were outside the machine and for instance blowing down and wanted to change it from swapping to chopping position, all I have to do is turn the dial and hold and you'll see the chopper raise into position.